Hello, community. I have a guest today. We have, uh, we actually, we know each other for a while. He's been involved in the Blender community for ages. He even built the server or render farm for Sintel 12 years ago or so. That long. Yeah. <laughs> that long ago. Yes, wow. yeah, really long ago. And now you help Blender. You are a Blender developer that doesn't directly develop inside of Blender, but everything around that. Yeah, that's a way of saying it. Yeah, yeah, that's a way of saying it. So I would not say that I'm a coder, and I definitely am. Uh, I'm dangerous if you you let me edit code. So don't let me do edit code. I'm not good at that. But um, I'm right now uh, at the Blender Studio. They they hired me despite this. So yes. that's 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 an interesting part, and I'm here to talk about that. Yes. So. Um, if you ever downloaded Blender <laughs> or downloaded from the BuildBot or uh, downloaded the latest few releases or used the uh, report a bug uh, website, uh, the fabricator developer.blender.org, then you have used the tools that ARN is maintaining. So we're going to go through some of them. There is a big change actually happening soon-ish uh, in terms of that, which we need going to need your feedback. So yes, tell us a bit about it. Yeah. So to be clear, uh, they hired me because uh, not because I made or uh, installed all these uh, pieces of software, but because uh, these things need maintaining and there are some changes coming up uh, and they want me to work on that. And the main part of that is uh, the infrastructure that we have called uh, developer.blender.org. Uh, some people might know it's uh, it's the type of place where coders, where developers go and uh, look at source code, look at which bug reports there are, uh, who's working on what, are they fixed, have the bugs been fixed, etc. Uh, ours is based on a piece of software originally written by uh, by Facebook yeah. uh, called Fabricator. Uh, Which sadly, is this website. Yeah, the website is on the screen. So you have an ability to uh, to uh, create a project to say, okay, what is this project about? Uh, where is the source code of the project? Uh, who is working on the project? Who can edit the source code? Blah blah blah. And that's a great piece of uh, software to be able to use. But sadly, uh, Facebook pulled the plug somewhere uh, last year, which uh, which means we'll have to start looking for something new. We knew that uh, Blender has known this for a while, uh, but yeah, this is now becoming something that. We really need to pick up, and that's uh, one of my one of my prime uh, functions uh, that I'll be uh, be doing here, and that's also where the call for uh, participation and feedback uh, is the most important. Uh, we'll talk are about there, that. Yes, are there alternatives? What are all their open source uh, software communities um, using? Ah, communities. So the equivalent of this is uh, is GitHub. Most people know that. GitLab is another project uh, which is also available for download. You can run it yourself in a, in a reduced uh, uh, state. Uh, and there's uh, other projects like Gitia, Gogs, Pajur, and a whole, whole set of other names. Uh, but GitLab, GitHub uh, are the ones that most people are going to be familiar with nowadays. Yeah, the difference being that GitHub is uh, proprietary by Microsoft and GitLab is not it's open source uh, there's an open source core available okay. uh, so if you're if you're going to use it if you would like to use it in the same way that you can use it on gitlab.com you will st have to pay yeah okay yeah so not entirely no. so what are the options and what is the call to action do you want uh, developers to help or community users or well uh, one of the things that is uh, important to know is like what are we using uh, right, right now, Fabricator has hundreds and uh, hundreds of options and things that you can use to make your workflow e easier. And I've talked with a number of developers already to see, okay, when you get a bug or when you start doing something, what do you do? How do you go through the website? What uh, what functions do you use? What do you depend on? And which things are actually missing? But I've had maybe ten people. Uh, where I've, uh, which I've talked to in, in depth. Developers? Yeah, uh, mainly developers. Uh, and they, they have some good ideas and they, they know what they, they miss, they know what they want. Um, but to, yeah, to, to, not, to not miss things, it would be nice if people who know, like, hey, 
there is a feature which I've seen somewhere else, and it would be great if we would have this available for Blender, uh, that we know this when we're starting to evaluate which of the uh, options out there uh, is the best one to, to use, which might have the most amount of uh, yeah, uh, features already working from the start, or yeah. if, we, if we ask people to work on something, what are they going to work on? Do you already have a list of the most popular, like off the top of your head? Yeah, the, the current short list, so to speak, uh, is, um, is uh, GitLab, uh, which has been on, uh, on the short list for a long while. People have mentioned it before, like, oh, this is an obvious uh, platform to look at. Um, we might qualify for uh, an open source tier uh, uh, hosting that allows us to have like uh, uh, all the features of the commercial version for, because we're an open source project, but we'd have to look at that. Um, and then there's the uh, Gitia project, which is looking very promising. It's a very lightweight um, uh, tool. Uh, really, really does a number of things really well f uh, right from the bat. Very quick, very small. Uh, and it's a it's a modern platform. People are still working on that, so that's nice. Uh, but it might uh, have a number of features which we would have to make ourselves or have somebody build for us. And then there's another one which is kind of a dark horse right now. Uh, I will not say it's a serious contender, but it's it's not off the shortlist, which is Pajur, which is or Pagure. Pagure. Yeah, yeah that's the one. <laughs> So, as far as I can understand, that one is a project um, uh, managed, maintained by uh, uh, Red Hat, Fedora, uh, which uh, they use internally. Uh, it seems to uh, be active, but there's not so much known about extra features. So, uh, it doesn't seem to have like a, an application store where you can just install new pieces of, uh, of uh, functionality. Uh, which uh, which would be handy and the others seem to have. So we're looking at it because it might have some things which it does really well compared to the others and then we also know like oh well this is something we could have had maybe yeah. we should consider that. So these are the three that we're concentrating on uh, based on yeah, yeah just basically uh, going through the list of everything that's out there and saying well this has been not maintained for three years yeah. nobody uses this uh, this is very specific or doesn't work for a general project and th these three seem to come out uh, as interesting choices. Nobody has forked uh, Fabricator. Nobody th even imagined forking No, it doesn't seem to be something that is on people's minds, no. And it might, might be also uh, because it's written in PHP. Oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's, it's very capable of what it does, but it's, it's really big. It's yeah. a relatively big project. Yeah. The issue maybe with GitLab being though that it has some parts that are not completely GPL, right? And we cannot share them. So you yeah. have to code it ourselves. And then we in Blender, we, everything we make, we provide as open source. Yes. So yeah. that will clash a bit with what they have. It depends on where, what we go for. Uh, there's two routes in general. Right now it looks like we can either take the uh, open source version uh, and then only use the open source uh, uh, features set. Uh, which already is missing a couple of things that we know we will need. We could add those things, but then we're replicating features that are in a commercial product. So then you kind of, you 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 won't really be releasing it because you know you're just competing with. Uh, yeah, it's not with nice. A, yeah, you could, but it's not nice. It's not nice and also not useful useful in such a way. Yeah. So that's uh, that's a thing we're looking at. Like, how would we do that? And the other thing is that it looks clear that we could. Apply or apply for a for the ultimate tier version, based on the fact that they have an open source stimulation program. I believe it's uh, it normally costs ninety nine US dollars but, uh, per user per month, which for <laughs> us, yeah, for us that would be insane. But oh, wow. we would get it for free uh, if we apply for it, and we uh, we would. Uh, 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 we would fit under all the requirements, which we think we will. Uh, but the question then is. Um, anything that we add, anything that we make for ourselves that you know extends functionality, we could release it as, as open source, but nobody except paying customers would be able to use it. So making it's not nice. It's not the. It's it's not with. It, it's not a blender. Well, not nice. It's a blender philosophy. It doesn't match with blender's yeah. philosophy. So that's a that's a conflict uh, zone, or that's a thing we're looking at. Like, okay, what would it mean? Yeah. And. Uh, 
yeah, what, what's the most important uh, at this point? Uh, I did a presentation three weeks ago now, uh, which touch, touches, uh, it's an internal thing. At the studio, yes. Yeah, uh, which touched on a number of these things. Uh, so to be clear, the choice has not been made. Uh, we're currently in a proof of concept uh, stage where I'm setting up a proof of concept for these three. Uh, so that uh, internally, but also external developers will be able to look at like, what does the Blender project look like in these three options. And then we can have an obs uh, uh, just observe like, okay, if you want to do this, how would you go through the UI? How do you tag this? Uh, mm. if, uh, if that works differently than in Fabricator, we'll need, to, uh, we'll need to make things fit. And some of these things are like round hole, round shape. Some things are like no. square hole, triangle piece. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. that's uh, th those things I'm looking at. Yeah. All right. So that that's your call to action. Uh, if you have any comments, any feedback, we're gonna be following the uh, the comments on on this YouTube video. But mainly, is it where where can people reach out for this? Is it a Dev Talk? Uh, yeah, so or? there um, there is already a topic on Dev Talk, but I will see if it's easily findable. So it, I'll try to make sure that there's a, a nicely identifiable Dev Talk. Yeah, uh, and uh, a link thing. on the description. Yeah, and if you want to reach me directly, it's uh, arnd at blender dot org. Uh, if it's a thing about uh, Fabricator, uh, suggestions or uh, questions about you know where will this go or where are we. Uh, let me know. Hmm. Um, I'm also very interested in people who are doing things with Fabricator that I wouldn't know about. Uh, I've seen some people interfacing with Fabricator and then they say, hey, Arndt, uh, this is not working as it's supposed to be. And I'm like, who are you? Yeah. What are you doing? And yeah. why are you, <laughs> like, why don't I know this yet? So, you know, it's a big thing. People are touching it from all sides. And uh, if you're touching it, using it, or uh, would like to be using it and you, uh, have any questions, come to me. I'm also doing a number of other things at the studio, infrastructure assistance and uh, another exciting project that I'll probably come back about later. Yes. And uh, but An experimental. Yeah, uh, experimental. Yes, this, yeah. this. Uh, but also build both and maintaining both Blender infrastructure in general. Um, uh, you, you just arrived at the studio and now, okay, first task, find a replacement for the heart of Blender development. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> yep, that's... Uh, no pressure. No pressure. <laughs> but there's, uh, the time frame is during to, like 2022, I guess, right? Uh, hopefully, yes. Yeah. If it lasts longer than a year, then we're doing something wrong. But, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on in the studio and yeah. it might be a larger project than we think right now. Uh, but the uh, the goal is to have this done in in this year. Yeah, no rush. I don't think Fabricator will stop working. Okay, <laughs> knock on wood. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, and Aaron, for coming. Thank and, you very uh, much I'll for to see you more often. Yeah. He actually works like two meters from here. <laughs> <laughs> right, bye.